Tony Pereira, who's the co-chair of the State Transportation Committee. Good morning, everyone. And just, this is music to my ears, Mr. Menendez. Those machines working back there. They can interrupt us any day of the week, because that brings jobs. And as I was discussing before with our colleagues here, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing worse than not having a job. And it's hard when you're out there and you want to work, but there's no work out there. And this brings a huge, a huge amount of people back to the table again. Creating jobs for themselves, going out into the economy, spending money, which means that we has a trickle effect whether you buy new cars, new tires, or hire mechanics. This is what it's all about. And as much as we are at the state right now looking at different ways of, of improving our our rail service and our busways, we can never, ever abandon our infrastructure, our roads and bridges, ladies and gentlemen. We have to make sure that we are number one. We don't ever want to go through what happened years ago with the Miami's Bridge, the collapse of that. We have to be on top of our game. And we as a state, to make sure in this next election, I don't want to bring politics involved in this, but we got to get more projects on the bonding agenda to get our brothers and sisters back to work. That's the key. So, again, let me just say that this is a great day for Connecticut. And Rosa, all your great help. Again, thank you so much. But again, we love to hear that type of music in the background. So keep the money coming. Thank you.